Welcome along, everybody. Now, people who think record net migration figures are a good thing need to get out more. Big cities absorb huge amounts of migrants. People in leafy rural areas aren't touched by it. But right across the country, there are towns that Gary Lineker and the Bleeding Heart Brigade have never been to and would rather we all ignored. Places like Boston in Lincolnshire, where I visited yesterday, it shatters the illusion that the 1.2 million people who arrived here last year are all high-skilled individuals who benefit our economy. Right in the middle of that sleepy market town are groups of foreign men sitting around drinking alcohol, smoking drugs, committing crime. People will say this is a lazy stereotype, but I did see it firsthand. And I spoke to the kind of people that the BBC will just ignore, like Chris. It's the major issue, as, as you can see or hear, it's, uh, they're all sitting there drinking. Just now, outside my shop, there was five sat there drinking. Police car pulled up asked them to move, police car drove away, they decided not to move. On my phone now I've got a video of one of them just urinating up the door. And this is all in front of the council officers as well. The council office has the exact same view of me and they don't do anything about it, not doing anything. So what every pro-mass migration politician, political commentator, virtue stealing lovey should go and do is move to somewhere like Boston, get out of your Surrey mansion and go and live in Boston. But they won't, of course, because they don't want to live in an area that's facing the real-world repercussions of their ideology. The price people in ordinary communities pay for a fraction of a percentage on the GDP spreadsheet is this. More crime, low wages in manual sectors, worse access to public services, a housing crisis and the reality that they've been lied to by their politicians about any desire to get the numbers down. All over the country there are places like Boston, places that simply do not see the benefit of record migration. Now, if Boston sounds like where you live, I want to know about it. It's time that we made sure that the reality of the situation was exposed.